Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the pipeline protocol. In that, we have two protocol: go back end protocol and selective repeat protocol. In pipeline protocol means it is a technique in which the multiple request means multiple data packets are sent to a single socket without waiting for an corresponding response means acknowledgement. So in that, so in that sender can send multiple packets without acknowledgement receiving side. So previously we have seen the sender can only send a single packet, then it wait for a acknowledgement. So it is known as a stop and wait protocol. But in this protocol category, the sender can send multiple packets without waiting. for corresponding acknowledgement packet so in that the number of packet request must be increase means number of sequence number must be increase so previously the sequence number is either 0 and 1 in that sequence number will increase data or packets should be buffered at sender or receiving side so if we send multiple packet at that time sending side or receiving side the packet should be buffered for transmission see in this figure if we consider the case of stop and wait protocol then in this large area of the region we can say continent in one side of continent the packet is sending to the other side of continent so it take a too much time to traveling with packet travel with acknowledgement so instead of that we have use pipeline technique so pipelining technique is the packet are in filling in pipe so it is pipelining so multiple data packet can send from one place to the another place without any acknowledgement packet means after some time the acknowledgement packet will send cumulatively from receiver to sender so it is in a pipeline protocol operation so in that we have categorized in two forms the first pip pipeline protocol is the go back end protocol and second is selective repeat protocol now let's understand first go back end protocol in this protocol the sender can have up to certain amount means n on acknowledgement packet in pipelining so the receiver only send that cumulative acknowledgement packet and it does not acknowledge packet if there is any gap period means the sender send a multiple packets without corresponding acknowledgement packet after some times the receiver send the cumulative acknowledgement of packets the sender has a timer for the oldest unacknowledgement packet means any of the packet received at receiving side and it still remain to acknowledge then after after the time period the receiver send that on acknowledgement packet to the sender so we can say it is oldest on acknowledgement packet means after the timing period the sender not received any acknowledgement means cumulative acknowledgement packet then it consider the packet is not received properly so it retransmit the all on acknowledgement packet in sender a send a number of frames specified by a window size it means that sender send particular number of packet means a size of particular window means at a one time sender can send n number of the packet for example either 3 either 4 either 5 this number known as a window size it send without receiving acknowledgement packet from the receiver receiver 
keep a track of the sequence number of next frame it expect to receive because for duplication solution purpose and send that number with every acknowledgement and it sends receiver will discard any of the frame that does not have exact sequence number which it expect so it means it have duplicate frame which is already acknowledged or the out of order frame here frame means packet it expect to receiving letter now receiver will resend that acknowledgement which last correct in order frame and once the sender send all the frame in particular its window size then it will detect that all frame acknowledgement received since the first lost frame are outstanding then it go back to the sequence number of the last acknowledgement which it received from receiver also this protocol is known as a sliding window protocol now let us know how this protocol works see in this figure the window size for the sending is 4 it means total 4 packet will send here total 8 pack 9 packets 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 total 4 packet will send received packet 0 send acknowledgement 0 received packet 1 send acknowledgement 1 in case packet 2 is lost in between transmission then it not received here similarly without waiting for acknowledgement the sender send packet 3 receiving side it received packet 3 but it discard and resend acknowledgement 1 means last received packet acknowledgement last packet is packet 1 and send that acknowledgement to the sender after some period of the time at sender packet 2 again retransmit see over here packet 2 timed out complete then packet 2 will send in between the receiving acknowledgement 0 from packet 0 receiving acknowledgement 1 from packet 1 and sending a packet 4 packet 5 but it receiving side it discard because of it not received packet number 2 it just received and discard and send previous correctly received packet acknowledgement so after completion of the timed out the packet 2 will send it received delivered send acknowledgement 2 packet 3 send received deliver acknowledgement send for packet 3 similar for remaining packets so let's visualize this thing in animation video see in this video the window size is 5 packets this five packet send from sending side to the receiving side here the red color denotes the packets yellow color denotes the acknowledgement blue color denotes the received packet and green color denotes selected packet select a packet total five packets sending in that number second packet is loss so only first packet acknowledgement will send from receiver to the sender and it received now the change the windows to increase to 1 over here the remaining packet is received but not acknowledged only first packet acknowledge after the some time means timing period of packet 2 will complete then the all other packet acknowledge to the sender see
it wait for the completion of particular reasonable time period after the completion of the time period the packet will send again and acknowledgement for all packets and it received at sender side now in this second case two packet loss packet number 2 and packet number 4 so the only this packet will give acknowledge to the sender the remaining packets is just stored here not acknowledge let's see see only this packet acknowledged increasing the window size by 1 because already four packet have no acknowledge because this packet is not received yet after completion of this packet timer it will again retransmit all packet we will wait for completion of timer after completion of timer all packet again retransmit in that this packet and this packet see in that this three packet already received then also it sender send same packet so duplication problem create over here which will solve in next protocol selective repeat see acknowledge for all received packet so in next video we will discuss about the selective repeat protocol in that we have resolved the duplicate packet problems thank you